Hi, if you happen to have an E-Zip 4.5, I would imagine they're all the same, but I bought these replacement batteries. And instead of going with the 7 amp, like what it calls for, I went with the slightly larger ones. So I went to the 10 amp, and you could do that. The only problem is you cannot get these terminals off of these old batteries. That was a problem. So I bought yellow stake-on connectors, you know, with the right crimping tool, and I crimped them on there. But now remember, when you do this, you want to come in from your positive to the positive of the battery. Then it goes out from the negative to the positive of the next battery. They're in series. That's how you get 24 volts. They're each 12 volt batteries. Then from the negative, you go out to the motor itself. So look at that wiring carefully. You know, I hope that, that I'm not filming this sideways, which I could be. <laughs> we'll see when the video comes out. So, uh, like I said, you got to come in with the positive. The negative goes to the positive of the next battery. The negative of that second battery goes right out to the motor plug. Then, then you could safely slide all these on. Maybe put black tape or rubber tape over this to make sure it's safe. But they do go in this cute little bag. So they should be fairly safe. You got that cushion over there anyway to help with it. All right. I hope that helped anybody trying to hook up an E-Zip with the batteries. I tested it. It does work. Now I'm going to give them a full charge.